Um, uh, well, my, my role, I think, this afternoon is to talk a bit about some of the learnings from the Dutch Resource Future Farming Programme, in particular uh, the learnings from uh, the field labs. Um, and it should really be Tom that's giving this uh, talk, because he's the sort of mastermind of it all. But I think it is really helpful, given this is a, a farmer program, uh, that in my farming role, um, I talk a little bit about my own experience of it from the inside, um, which I suppose in many ways has been the contribution I've brought uh, in terms of helping develop the program with Tom and others, uh, uh, particularly ORC, over the last uh, few years. So, I mean, the point's just been raised that there's, there's clearly not enough funding going into the kind of work uh, that Organic and other people who are trying to get rid of a lot of the inputs on their farms um, uh, need. Um, there is that big funding gap, there always has been. But quite apart from that, I've always found it quite difficult over the years uh, when I'm stuck in a, a DEFRA dungeon, which I was for quite a long time on the Upcross R&D committee, <coughs> and asked, you know, so what are your research needs? Um, not to just come up with quite big things like sort of weed control or, you know, okay, you know, this, I, I find it hard sometimes, I think a lot of farmers are the same, to really get specific about what it is we really need to know right now. When I'm on the farm, the, the, the sort of ideas and the questions uh, flood in all the time. Uh, they're often quite specific. Um, and sometimes they're just hunches. You know, what, what if we did X? Um, and I'm also aware, as a farmer, that there are times when clearly there's been a lot of work done in this area. I just don't know about it. Um, and I'm not very good at finding time uh, to go and research things myself in the way that I should do. And again, I think a lot of farmers are the same. And I feel that I often need to be with others, with other farmers or with other people, to bounce ideas around before I really get to the heart of what, I'm, uh, really, what I really need to know next. We are still quite isolated, um, and we're not great at working with our neighbours and, and collaborating on what's going on, what's going to work in this area, on this soil type, in this situation. Because a lot of the work we need is actually quite regionally specific. Um, there are things that translate, it's really good through the IP, the idea of of, uh, of moving knowledge around, but sometimes we need to know what's likely to work on our own farm. Um, and we're not good at doing this proactively, and we're not good, I think, sometimes about involving our own staff um, in, uh, in our research efforts, such that they are. Um, and often they're the ones that have to be really motivated uh, to uh, get uh, that recording done, to put the trial in, in place in the right kind of way. And yet we are experimenting all the time. Uh, I, I, we, we, we may not be doing it well enough, we may not be setting trials up right, and we may not be recording the data well enough, um, but there is a vast amount of uh, experimenting going on on the farm, and that's really the starting point for the field labs process. Um, and you know, if that, uh, that farmer innovation, that farmer experimenting uh, was valued, um, even if we, uh, even if we thought that it was only, you know, 0.5 of the percent of turnover in, in the farming community, that's a huge contribution. That's a huge uh, opportunity um, to lever more, uh, more work, um, and to make sure that we are uh, finding out more. That's as much apparently as uh, is going in from corporate and private um, uh, research funds. So DOF was very much um, uh, developed. Uh, with ORC to unlock this potential. And the field labs, um, and I think you probably all know loads about field labs uh, now because a lot of you were involved in them. I think it'd be great to get some feedback from you uh, at the end of this session about what you think is working and not working. But the whole idea is that, you know, somebody has an idea that they want to trial, to research, to think about. Um, they put that out and other farmers in the area who are interested uh, come, come along and, and, and debate the topic and sort of think about, right, let's set this up properly. And you've got a researcher involved to support, uh, not to lead the process, uh, but to support that farmer and that group uh, in setting up the trial and, um, and, and making sure that it is, is as successful as it can be. Now, I got involved um, uh, in kicking off uh, the, the one on antibiotics um, about 18 months ago, two years ago almost now. It's, it was an unusual um, uh, field lab in some ways. It was 
was uh, very much at the start of the process, um, and uh, and it's gone on. I think it's although it started early, it went on for a long time, um, <coughs> unusually. Uh, but I think it's been really interesting, and we've taken a lot from it. We've learned a lot from that one, as we have from all the others. And the initial thought um, in terms of that field lab was not actually specifically about antibiotics to start with. It was me thinking, I collect so much data from my dairy herd. I've got just reams of data. But am I really uh, making the most of that data? I'm certainly not working with other farmers to share and to understand what our different data sets are telling us. Um, connecting that up in my locality would be really helpful. But we did, when we got together, focus very quickly on antibiotics as being uh, a topic that was really uh, worth uh, getting to grips with, particularly trying to reduce the use of antibiotics, already low, obviously, on organic farms, but how low can we go? And we started off um, by benchmarking the antibiotic use uh, amongst that group of farmers, uh, looking at how much were we using, what were we using it for, and what was the incidence of disease, and we particularly looked at mastitis, so we honed in on antibiotics and mastitis, and we had some initial discussions about what we were all doing, um, you know, already, uh, how were we controlling, we looked at where we were on the sort of scale, um, and then we, we discussed the kind of techniques we were using, and we learned a lot just from that process. Uh, there was a huge amount that came out uh, just from that, and by doing that alone, usage fell. Um, and, uh, and so that sort of knowledge exchange was an initial part of the mix. Then we uh, took one thing, uh, which um, some of the herds uh, that were using quite low levels of antibiotic tended to be doing, uh, use of a product called other mint, as a Japanese mint oil, um, and we trialled that more formally. And that's given us some really useful results, and I think given us all a lot more confidence about how and when to use the product. There's still an enormous amount more we can learn from that too. Um, and I think that what's come through from that group uh, is that not only have we learned something, um, and we've got more confident about doing that kind of work, but there's a massive amount of enthusiasm uh, to do more. Um, and we met recently and decided that we're likely to now start a new field lab on looking at antibiotics and plainness. Um, so it, it's been a good process. It does seem to work. Um, and uh, although a lot of the early field labs, and I say we were one of the early ones, did feel quite exploratory, we were definitely learning as we went with the process, uh, it now does feel like uh, they're really motoring. Uh, there's been over 28 of them now, over 600 farmers involved in field labs, over 3,000 farmers involved in the programme as a whole. And uh, when we surveyed recently, uh, found that over 80% had made uh, practical improvements as a result of being involved. And something like 62% of researchers also uh, said those ones that have been applying for our research grants said that engaging with farmers had really improved uh, their proposals. And the research grant, the research fund itself is, I think, really interesting because it's relatively small amounts of money. Uh, we've given away, uh, the programme's given away about £111,000 so far, but uh, how much, um, uh, how efficiently you can use that level of funding when you're working so closely with farmers to pilot some new thinking. In the next phase of the programme, and we have just secured funding for the next three years, two and a half years, um, we really hope to build um, the research uh, fund and to ensure that those farmer groups who are really getting uh, involved with the field labs have first call on that. So I think that feels like uh, you know, that, that whole process of trying to build a bigger fund I think will be crucial. Now, of course, the aim, as much as to do stuff ourselves, is to influence um, the way that much more research is commissioned and run, and to put farmers um, right in the driving seat uh, of research policy. Um, I think those ideas are getting out there. I think uh, Tom and Tim Benton's article in Nature uh, earlier this year uh, has been influential and very well received. And I do hope that the uh, EIP that we've just been hearing about will be uh, implemented by DIFRA uh, in a way that allows us to amplify the opportunities that are coming through um, from the field labs and the Dutch Originals programme. So just finally, um, as a farmer, I'm 
hugely reinvigorated and enthused about doing more research on my own farm. And uh, we've already started ourselves more trials. Some of them we're thinking about more field labs, but actually some of the time we're just doing more work uh, that we want to do. Uh, we're running a trial ourselves now on use of a product to control Ascaris in, in pigs um, and uh, using one or two different products and, and systems. So that feels as though it's really released uh, an enthusiasm amongst uh, my staff, actually, and that's hugely important. Um, and, uh, and, and given us real confidence uh, that we can do this stuff uh, better and well and rely on results more than we might have felt comfortable about doing before. Uh, it's really helpful that staff have got so enthused. Um, and the a major breakthrough um, that the programme has been for me, I suppose it meant that I started working with my neighbours. 